This week, we're talking virtual reality. My name's Matthew Wallace, and this is the first episode of the Weekly I.O. Kind of documenting some stuff that I'm working on and what I've been uh, messing around with is virtual reality and hope to do a demo and take on some clients real soon. Um, basically what I've done is I've taken Unreal Engine and I have the virtual reality demo set up uh, and what this is going to do is actually let us use this little preview world. Um, you can teleport around and you can pick up these little geometric shapes over here. They're just uh, basic cubes, but my plan is, is to take this demo and make something more meaningful that I can show to potential clients or investors. So um, I'm actually planning on doing something like um, there's, there's a huge need in the medical space, uh, and I'm talking to a couple of clients about building some uh, trade show type uh, VR experiences so that they can put all of their equipment in virtual reality and demo that stuff at the trade shows uh, is one application that I'm uh, kind of working on for demo purposes. So what I think I'll end up doing is probably replacing the cubes with some surgical instruments or something like that, uh, something more medical. Um, but hopefully build it in a way to where you could apply it to, I don't know, whatever industry you want. Um, you know, years ago... I So I'm headed to a breakfast meeting today, and um, it's to uh, raining outside. That was my uh, windshield wipers, if you heard that loud noise. Um, basically, I'm going to be looking at doing some contract work for um, this company. Um, not really in the vein of things that I want to be doing at first, but that's okay. Um, making a lot of good connections, a lot of good guys work there. Um, and just really looking forward to that and hopefully uh, this is a group of developers that I can eventually do some VR platform work or interactive development work with so I'm really concentrating a lot in that space as you know opportunity for interactive development uh, in these spaces and they, the companies typically don't know about the products or um, a way to solve the problem that they have in a more creative way so I'm hoping to seize opportunity um, and really you know do the boring stuff in order to get the not so boring. But for now, what I'd like to show is just this actually working. So I have an Oculus Rift and I have the touch controllers and out of the box this just kind of works. So um, anyway, let me throw on the headset and I'll show you the demo working. As you can see, I have a set of hands. Uh, the touch controls just kind of work. You can pull the triggers and the hands close. Um, with the touch controllers, 
Um, I'm not sure if this actually works or not, but okay. So I did teleport and I didn't mean to. So let me see if I can make my way. All right. So now what I can do is I can actually reach up and grab the top block and pick it up. And you can see it just kind of works. So the physics will actually work as well. So I can throw this block over there if I want to. Um, let's grab this guy over here. See if I can pick him up. Try not to knock over anything in my office because I know I'm standing pretty close to things and I need to I need to get some furniture out of my office so that I have more room to do VR demos. But um, as you can see, these physics just kind of work and interact. So let me grab this guy over here and I can just kind of like play with the blocks, whatever. Um, just kind of wipe them all out here. So what I plan on doing eventually is just having like a table uh, in VR that you can lay uh, different equipment out on. If it's small things, uh, you'll be able to pick it up and use it and do different things uh, within the demo um, just to show off different pieces of equipment and things like that. But anyway, pretty cool. So what we have is we've got this device right here and what I should be able to do when I run the game is I should be able to pick this up. So there's a little bit of weirdness going on because um, there's these things called colliders that allow everything else in the world to interact with it and the collider is only working on this uh, this one little portion of this instrument. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera here just because everything's gray. Um, so I'll try to kind of move around a little bit here. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and just kind of show that this is working, which is pretty cool. Let's see here. Hey guys, so a little bit of an update. Uh, this week, what I'm working on is I'm taking the virtual reality template that I've been messing around with in Unreal Engine, uh, and the goal is to basically turn this guy here, this, this table of cubes, into actual real objects that we can just pick up in virtual reality. I want to be able to just reach over and pick these is a really good website that you can go to is uh, TurboSquid. So if you go to TurboSquid.com, what you can do is you can just search for uh, whatever you're looking for. I just did a uh, surgical like that. And then what I ended up then uh, messing around with Blender again. Uh, so as you can see, I went to TurboSquid, I downloaded this first free item here. Uh, it's just like a plastic surgical uh, device of some sort. Not really sure what it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Just This is all experimentation type stuff. So once I got it into Blender, it took a little while because I'm not uh, an expert at Blender um, by any means. Um, but Basically, I got this device uh, set up to where I could create a FBX file um, from Blender um, and export the entire object as one single mesh. Um, so once you, and what you can do is you can go over to Unreal Engine, and I've created a folder just called Meshes in my content directory, and you can import the FBX file. And I'll just do import here real quick and just kind of show you guys what we end up with. Um, but anyway, now that we have the surgical device in here, what we can do is we can literally just drag this uh, object into the scene. And we have it in Unreal Engine, which is pretty cool. So 
obviously the uh, scaling is <clears throat> is way more it's way larger than what we really need so the next thing I'm going to be working on is taking this mesh and allowing it to show up as one of these interactive uh, 3d devices I think what I'm gonna have to learn how to do next is to create just a basic collider so that I can interact with the object and you can pick it up in VR is the goal. So next goal is I want this guy to just be laying on this table and I'll be able to pick it up in 3D space. So that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, just a quick little update like I said. Uh, keep watching. I appreciate you guys checking in. Uh, got any questions or suggestions, uh, please hit me up in the comments below if this is a YouTube video that you're watching or if you're watching this on Facebook. Love to hear back from you guys on your thoughts, suggestions, things like that, things you'd like to see. Anyway, I will see you soon. All right, so I made a little progress today. Um, what I've actually done is I found some sort of medical instrument online in a uh, 3D, uh, basically a place where you can download 3D assets. Um, so I'm having to learn a little bit of Blender. Um, I can show some of that later. Um, so I'm having to become a bit of an expert as far as like creating 3D assets or modifying them to get them to work in Unreal Engine. So it's not totally working, but it kind of does. Um, I'm having some issues with the colliders, which is what allows you to know when you're actually touching a 3D object in the engine. Um, but I do have it somewhat working so I was going to show that now so let me throw on the um, oculus because um, we I do have this working in a VR um, template there we go that's why it's because we weren't focused on it okay so that's way better okay that was making me dizzy okay so what I want to show is we have these 3d uh, these cubes you can pick up in 3d space uh, and they interact with each other um, so here's this uh, medical instrument that I created. As you can see, it's kind of going through the table, um, and that's because the collider isn't set up correctly. But if I grab it in the right spot, I can actually pick it up and look at it. I have no idea what this thing actually is, but I just wanted to see if I could get a different 3D object into VR so that I could interact with it. So anyway, a little bit of progress, pretty cool. Uh, hope to have this working a little bit better uh, by the end of the week, maybe first of next week, something like that. Anyway, pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching the first show. I'm hoping to play with the format a little bit over time. And if you are a developer or a business and you have interest in interactive development at all. I'd love to interview you and have you on the show and talk about what you're up to. Um, and also, if you're a business and you'd like to maybe even possibly document me building your application and my company working with you, I'd love to talk about that as well. So please hit me up and I will see you guys next time.